these farmers in Ukambani in eastern Kenya, it's like money growing on trees. They were facing starvation after drought led their maize crops to fail. But then they were introduced to planting the Jatropha tree by their local priest. It's completely turned their lives around. They now earn a living by selling the oil contained in the tree seeds. It can be used for powering up anything from a Boeing 747 to lighting the kitchen stove. Father Kule passionately believes that oil from the Jotropha tree will lift millions of Kenyans out of poverty. This is the kind of tree they need. And I believe if they plant this instead of planting maize, they can sell the seeds to those who process uh, to get oil. Then they can, they can go and buy maize. According to some scientists, Jotropha oil is the most superior biofuel on the market. Pods on the Jotropha tree contain seeds that produce diesel fuel. They emit hardly any greenhouse gases and capture carbon dioxide. Frederick Ashiang has created a stove that's powered by Jotropha oil. There are special extractor machines which extracts the oil directly from the seeds. Once you extract that oil, you can then use it directly as fuel. Use a certain stick, special stick, to light the wicks. And you start your cooking. But it could be many years before it becomes a main energy source. This is just one of thousands of Jotropha tree plantations springing up across Kenya. One of the most exciting things about the tree is its ability to thrive in harsh conditions, dry and arid temperatures where there's virtually no rainfall. But the big unanswered question is its commercial viability. Take a tree like this, after three years it will be at full growth. But at the end of that period it will only produce two litres of diesel. Millions of Jatropha trees would have to be planted to make it a viable commercial product. At the moment, Jatropha is farmed on a tiny percentage of land. Environmentalists say Kenya has plenty of empty land on which Jatropha could be grown. They believe it will end Kenya's dependence on foreign oil imports and end famine caused by crop failure. Famine has been declared a, a national disaster. What is that? It's depletion of environment. And we are not using our God-given resources in a natural way. If the government makes the right investment quickly, Kenya could become a major producer of Jotropha biofuel, potentially improving the lives of millions of people. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Kitui in Kenya.